Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back with another Subnautica Sunday. And today I think we're going to have to do some more exploring. Now we've got the laser cutters there's a few big wrecks we need to explore. And there's little more I can do until I find a modification station. We need to make some crucial upgrades to our equipment so I can dive deeper and last longer underwater. And we also need to be able to upgrade our seam off to dive deeper. I have managed to find all of the blueprints to build the Cyclops, but we're going to wait, I think, until next week until we do the Cyclops. There's, again, not much we can do until we've managed to get the modification station. So I'm just going to head out, get my bearings a little bit as to where I've put my base, because just beyond this wreck, I think in this direction is where the mountains are and that's a bad area to be so I just want to go and double check that if we keep on coming past the glass grassy plateau over this side that we're actually in fact next to the mountains and there are several leviathans that patrol the mountains so we might get a glimpse but I don't want to get too close obviously and I could do with getting some more quartz I can see down there and as always we need some more metal so today it's mainly scavenging the wrecks now a few of these wrecks I have visited already but without having the laser cutter attachment we couldn't get through the doors so there's definitely equipment laying inside that we can use we just grab that for the titanium okay so I'm pretty sure this is the edge of the grassy plateaus and just down here is where the mountain regions are. Okay, let's just cautiously poke our heads out here, see what we can see. Well, I can't hear any leviathans but without sonar it's really, I don't know if we should risk it. Have a look what we can see. There should be a couple of large shipwrecks out here, if I remember, but I can't obviously remember what's in them. And there we go, we've got one of the alien vents there in the middle. But yeah, um, I'm not sure that it's entirely worth it. <laughs> but now I know that we're on the right next to the mountains with our base. I think we'll continue in a different direction. Okay, found something here. Just a small bit of wreckage. Sort of north of our position. But we haven't been in here, so let's have a look. Looks like it's relatively near a starting zone, so I don't expect this to be a piece of equipment that we haven't already got. Still, we need to check everything. Okay, it's through the door. Can I push this out? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay, there's, so there's something else to unlock. So it's the mo mobile vehicle bay fragment, which we already have. Um, we was looking for, for a oh, battery charger. We've got one of them. Just need that modification station. Okay, that's through. Lightweight high capacity tank. Well, we need that, but in order to craft it, again, we're going to need the modification station. That'll enable us to be able to breathe a lot longer in the deeper waters. Just got some more air there. Just double check I haven't missed anything in here. Propulsion cannon again, we have that. 
another vehicle bay fragment. I'll just get it for the metal. Doesn't appear anything else, just a crate at the back here. Some more water. Modification station fragment. Hey, that's one of three. Okay, so we did find one in here after all. Fantastic. So we need two more. So, oh, there's a door here. I didn't see that. Almost missed this one. Maybe there's another piece of the modification station. So, well, it looks like you don't need the laser cutter for getting in here. Okay, just have a search just on the off chance. There's one more thing in here. Would have been a complete mobile vehicle bay here, because that's the third blueprint from one of them, so if you didn't have that, this small wreck was actually quite quite a good wreck. That's how my oxygen goes down in increments of three when it says you've got 30 seconds. You have more like 10. Okay. Just have some water. Okay. We continue. I want to explore the mushroom forest as well. I know there's some wrecks there we need to see. Okay, so I'm just out in the mushroom forest biome. This is where one of the dignitaries crashed. I think it was life pod 12. And it crashes right next to a giant tree and just over there is what I'm looking for. That piece of wreckage that's landed right on the top of all of these mushrooms. It was in here before, I did see it, but we couldn't get in. Well, they're saying that, there was a hole in the bottom of it. So maybe we could have, but I'm sure there's doors in here to unlock. Hopefully, we can find some good blueprints. Looks like a giant chunk of the ship came down and landed on the top here. Okay, let's just open this door. Okay, ooh. Plant pot. Don't think I've got that one yet. Yay. A plant shell for our base. Oh, the picture frame. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Um, right, let's just get some more O2 because it looks like we could get lost in this chunk of wreckage. log. Should check that out later. Mm, I can't see anything laying around in the corner there. Cyclops thermal reactor module. When we eventually get there. Oh, I can't see anything out this way. Right, let's get some more air. There was a tunnel leading somewhere that I can go down. Oh, door here we can cut through. here. The vehicle upgrade console. Fantastic. This is something we definitely needed. Okay, so there was no parts of the modification station there, but I do want to go and have a hunt for the giant tree here, which is right next to the life pod. 
So I'm just going to over, head over that way. Okay, so this is Life Pod 12, and right next to it was a giant tree. There's something in this tree that I want to grab for later on. Find the entrance. Because I think I've pretty much done what I need to do in the mushroom biome for now. Although I don't want to forget this. So there's a creature egg in here. Not that one, actually. I'm not sure which creature that would be. It might be a, a jelly stingray. But it's this happy looking fellow sat in the middle here that I want to grab. And uh, perhaps we'll be able to hate hatch him later on. Okay. Well, the hunt continues. I need to find some more big ship wreckage and try and find this modification station. Okay, so we found a few scattered pieces here. Let's see some thermal generators. Oh, what we got here looks like a prawn suit. That's the torpedo arm for the prawn suit. Probably not going to use that. I prefer the grapplings on the prawn, prawn suit. Stick fragment. We'll take it. But, ah, modification station fragment. Excellent. So it's two or three. And the last piece. Fantastic. So now we're going to be able to upgrade our O2 tank and some of our tools as well. We'll get an upgrade. This is going to allow us to dive a lot deeper. Let's get some oxygen. Right. Just double check to see what's through this door. cell charger, we already have that, and reinforced dive suit, okay, plenty of modification station fragments here, this is good, now I've got all of the Cyclops blueprints, but I think we'll save the Cyclops until next time. Hopefully if we can upgrade our O2 tank, then we can dive deeper. It'd be worth taking the Cyclops out then. Looks like there's more stuff underneath us. It's like a giant crater where this part of the ship's landed. Down there leading to another biome. Not sure if it's the blood kelp forest down there that it's leading to. only go another hundred meters down at the most. Even now the oxygen is going down extremely quick. Just grab a bit more O2. Oh, something here. Finding plenty of stuff here. Something we already had. Just check behind this wreckage over here. Our moon pool fragments. It's getting quite dark now. Stick some lights on. Uh, ah, it's 
torpedo arm. May as well grab it. Can't remember if we got the complete blueprint or just half of it before. Now we pick one up. Okay, yeah, now we've learned it. Bio reactor, which we have. And the thermal plant we already have. We'll always need the metal, so... Okay. Fantastic. Well, we've got what we need. Let's just have a look, see where this crater goes. Can't seem to see anything else scattered about. Let's poke our dead's heads down here. Can go down a little bit further. Ah, there's one of the alien vents. And, oh, I don't know if you just saw that peeper there. But while we're here, let's have a look at what's going on here. I don't know if you notice, look, there's a peeper coming out there and it's got something coming out behind it. And if you look, you might see some peepers going inside. Let's just carry on looking. Now, there comes one now. I think it's sucked in. And... Keep watching, and there comes one out again. Looking different. So a mystery. What's happening with the peepers? But they seem to be going down the ventilation shafts here. I think I already scanned one of these, so I haven't scanned the alien vent. So the mystery of where these vents lead, and what happens to the peepers when they get in. Just something to take note of. Okay, let's get back to base, get the modification station built. Certainly a lot faster, but we can't scan them. Okay. Right, let's get this O2 tank built. And perhaps we'll be able to explore areas like this a little bit easier. Just repair this because them biters keep on whacking into my seam off. Okay, right, let's construct the modification station. I'm gonna stick it in the corner of the moon pool here. Just out of the way. Uh, we'll put it in the far corner. Just here would be fine. Let's see what upgrades we can do. Okay, so we can do the survival knife. That just requires a battery. Okay, fantastic. So now we've got the thermal blade. Just show you how this one works. We basically, cook fish while we're outside, so food's not really a problem. Even if we run out, we can immediately just gather something cooked to keep us going. And plus it does more damage. So that's the first upgrade we've grabbed. It's the high capacity O2 tanks that we really need tank upgrade. So the lightweight high capacity, we've already got this one. We need the ultra high capacity tank, which just requires four more lithium. Okay, so oh, I've made a pastille ingot by mistake. No, we just want this one. I'll use it on the Cyclops, I'm sure, anyway. Okay, fantastic. So our O2's gone up to 225 now. Fin upgrades, we could do this. Ultra glide fins, that'll make us a little bit faster in the water. A little bit more lithium and silicon rubber. Fabulous, so we can swim faster, dive deeper. We can probably get rid of the radiation suit and helmet now. Okay, so that's the modification station built. 
and we've got some crucial upgrades that will allow us to swim a little bit faster and breathe a little bit longer under the water. So next week, being that we've got all of the parts for the Cyclops, we'll be building that and certainly going out to investigate some of the deeper ocean biomes. We know that the alien facilities are certainly located a little bit deeper than what we can get to, so more exploration of some new biomes next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the content so far, but until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.